Microsoft should do no system left behind. But, yes, but it should be Xbox One X and Xbox Scarlet. Let's get to the video. Hey everybody, it is your boy Levon Kaysen back at it again with another video. And Microsoft should still do the whole no system left behind thing. But it only should be, you know, for Xbox One X and um, Xbox Scarlet. Because let's be real about the Xbox One and Xbox One S. You know, by 2020, they're going to be considered, you know, very underpowered. But I still think that the Xbox One X still has some power left in it to be supported in the next couple years, you know, probably until 2022 to 2023. That's when it should stop support, and that's when everybody, you know, should be pretty much, you know, moved on to the Xbox Scarlet. You know, that's what I really think, but Microsoft is probably going to, you know, try to support all the systems, you know, all the Xbox One family systems. You know, even the Xbox One S and the Xbox One, the VCR Xbox One. And I think that's a bad idea because, you know, like I said, it's underpowered. Let's just be real. I mean, if you look at today's multiplats, they'd be running in 720p, 900p, still for the most part. So at this point, Microsoft... Just make the Xbox One X the base and uh, Xbox Scarlet as the higher end model, pretty much. That's what I'm really saying. Well, that's pretty much for today's video. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me that the no system left behind idea should be, you know, there, but it should be Xbox One X as the base? and Xbox Scarlet as the higher end model. Let me know in the comment section below this video. See you guys later. Peace, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified for future Levon Kaysen videos and future Levon Kaysen live streams.